afternoon. It is afternoon, right? It's all of Florida. Uh, nice to see some faces that I've seen before and welcome and nice to meet those that I haven't met yet. Uh, again, my name is Juan de Pena. I'm the North America Ranger Chief Engineer with Ford. Long time with Ford. I spent the last three years working on this baby, so really, really proud of it. I think you guys are really going to enjoy driving it. Last time I think we talked a lot about on paper, but it's really good when you get behind the wheel, when you go and you try to tow a trailer in a Ranger, in the competition, you see what an experience difference it is. This is the toughest Ranger ever. I spent a lot of time saying that last time we talked a lot about how we tested it on all the continents, how many miles we accumulated. A lot of time on talking about the, the Billport Tough brand promise. Uh, well, Ranger customers, they pride themselves in being able to you know, pick their, their adventures, pick their challenges, and they expect that, they demand that their truck is gonna be able to stand up to whatever they dish out. This Ranger, meets that. This Ranger is built for tough. That's why they chose Ranger. It's durable, it's reliable, it's got the capability that they need. And and so far, we've re-engineered the Ranger, all new, the exterior is all new, the interior is all new, the frame is new, our engine lineup is new, our electrical architecture is new. Again, new, 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 new. And you guys are saying, boy, that's a lot of new. Well, what isn't new is our super crew cab, you guys can all see, and our five foot bed. But what is new is that this is 100% of what we offer on Ranger in terms of configurations. We were looking at the data, most of our customers, this is what they get. So we could spend a little bit less money on this, this, and this, or a lot more money on this. So it makes sense that if this is what most of the customers are getting, let's put as much as we can into this configuration and give the customers more because this is what they're buying, honestly speaking. So with that, the vehicle is all new. The frame, which we've talked about it last time, it's fully boxed, high strength steel frame, which obviously, you know, it's a pickup truck, but it's, it's gotta be able to uh, meet the demands of, the aggressive demands of a real uh, mid-size pickup truck. On the rear of the truck, we packaged the dampers outboard. And when we redesigned the frame, we made it two inches wider track, two inches longer wheelbase. So in the middle, it grew. And what that gave us by packaging the, the uh, dampers outboard, it gave us a much, much wider tuning capability. As you guys know, when you're driving an unladen pickup truck, the rear end is quite jittery. It almost feels like it's gonna step out on you. This, you will see when you drive it today, because you guys are driving today, you'll see that the vehicle is a vault and it, the precision, the ride and handling, orders of magnitude better than the old one. So really, really proud of what we did in terms of ride and handling. Walking back to the front of the vehicle, we have an all new hydroform front end structure. You can't see it, it's on the B side of, of the, the uh, fenders. But by having a hydroform front end structure, we were able to have a bigger opening so we could package bigger engines. And in addition to that, also get improved airflow into the engine bay so we can cool down those bigger power packs. Speaking of powertrains and power packs, 76% of Ranger customers told us that performance was important to them compared to just 60% in the segment. Also, a top five reason for intenders who rejected Ranger in the past, performance was one of the reasons. When we launched in 2019, we had the 2.3 liter EcoBoost 4. We still have it today as our entry engine, true and tried, very capable, very durable, but now, oh, by the way, at 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque, but now we have the step-up 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6, offering 315 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. That is a significant move up in a Ranger. A, a vehicle this size with that level of performance, it's a nice powertrain match. On the Ranger Raptor that you guys are gonna drive and jump tomorrow, it's 405 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. So a lot more power. And um, all three of those engines are matched up to our class exclusive 10-speed automatic transmission. 10 gears is better than less because you get less torque drop between the shifts. So smoother acceleration, hopefully a little bit better fuel economy as well. Our four x four systems, we offer two. On the base ranges, we have a part-time electronic shift on the fly. Four x four system, we have two high, four high, four low. On the Raptor, we offer a permanent four x four system, also electronically shifted, that's got two high, four auto, four high, four low. It's a mouthful. On all the ranges from XL on up, 
blocking rear diff is available. On the Raptor, blocking front diff is also available. All that underbody improvement and hardware that I talked about gives us 7,500 pounds of max towing capacity and 1,805 pounds of payload capacity, which is pretty impressive again for a mid-size pickup truck that's garageable. Has a gorgeous interior, this beautiful exterior, and again, it's a real truck. You know, it, it works. If we make our way to the rear of the vehicle, the box is all new. In redesigning the box, we did uh, the lift gauge easy lift, so we have uh, you know, tor uh, torsional bars that assist with the lift. It makes it a lot easier to do with one hand. This one's got a damper as well, which is available on some series. When we redesigned it, we made it so that we have we can actually package or carry a full-size sheet of plywood flat on the floor. Uh, in the previous one, we weren't able to do this. Now we made it wider. Our tailgate, if we designed the tailgate, we have these cool clamp pockets on both sides. There you go. So you can actually clamp down a you know a piece of wood if you're you know if you're doing molding or or something. You can clamp it down. You have a measuring surface right here. We you can have fasteners here. You can have a beverage here. You can put your iPad here. It's a work surface. That's great. Uh, we are could, here. Oh yeah, yeah, you can, you can even open up. <laughs> exactly, Bob, beer. Uh, you said it, not me. Uh, we have soda. Four, soda, soda, I like that. We have a 400 in-bed power right there on the side. LED lighting. There you go, 110, and then 12 to the left. Then we've got our six tie-down locations. And, um, and so you can see it's a very much a working bed. Now, what I, what I really like and what the rest of the world uh, Ranger customers, because it, we launched the uh, rest of the world first, is our new box side steps. You can see one on that side, you can see on this side as well. Uh, usually box side steps are small. They usually integrate into the rear bumper, so they're kind of shallow. So the most that you can get in is maybe one foot. You get one foot into the bumper, you can't really reach that far into the bed. With these new box uh, side steps, they can carry 300 pounds. I'm not 300 pounds, by the way. But they can carry 300 pounds, and you can do two feet, and you have a deeper reach. So the usability experience is that much better. So we thought about how the customer uses the product, and not just adding features because the competition has it. Everybody's doing it, so let's just do it. It's how are you going to do it? So I got. I gave you guys a lot, and I'm dry mouth. Sorry, uh, Andy. Now is your time to take over. One. There you go. So again, Andy Cascadden, I'm the Ranger brand manager, and I've actually been on this program for about six years, and I got to come in right after the 2019 Ranger launched, and it was really interesting to kind of get the feedback um, from customers as they first got into that truck and what they really liked and what they were asking for. Um, a lot of the positive response was around tough and rugged, and when we started to research what the next product was going to be, it was, please keep tough, please keep rugged, Please include modern, and this is actually a reflection of all that work. It was do all the things that you did with the 2019 Ranger, and please give us more. Surprise, surprise. So we ended up really taking a lot of that consumer feedback to heart and trying to provide the best possible product that we could for 2024. A couple of things just with the interior too. As we went through research, it was all about certain themes kind of emerged when we went through research, and it was what we care about and what we need is the right materials, it was the right level of storage and it was the right amount of versatility. So when you look at the materials, oh, and when materials, it's also about comfortable. So it needs to be durable, it needs to be easy to clean, and it needs to be um, comfortable and what customers would expect when they're using their truck. Storage was all about do everything that you can to optimize and maximize the space. There's only so much space in a mid-size pickup, so do everything that you can to optimize and maximize. A couple of things to note specifically with the 2024 truck. If you look at the, full, the front center console bin, that's been redesigned and optimized and maximized for storage. As you look above the locking glove box, you'll see a new storage shelf there. On our Lariat and Raptor, if you are driving a Lariat today or a Raptor tomorrow, you'll notice that we also have an upper glove box right above that storage shelf. Storage as well is actually underneath the second row seat. Um, underneath the seat, we've got the two cargo areas, so additional storage for all your gear in that space. Not lockable. Okay. And then, new for 2024 is 
a fold flat second row seat. So additional opportunities to really optimize the space, get things on the back on the fold flat seat, additional room from, from back seat back to the roof. A couple other things in terms of just the versatility. New for 2024 as well is the power sliding rear window. We have manual sliding and fixed glass, but new for 24 is the power sliding rear window. Optional on XLT, standard on Lariat, standard on Raptor. Last in terms of the versatility for the interior, you will notice that we have power seats on the truck. We went from eight-way, six-way on the previous generation truck to 10-way, eight-way. So the new seat functionality is power recline. In addition, new for 2024 is the driver's side memory seat. In terms of technology, we're really, really excited about all the technology we were able to pack into this truck. It starts with the Sync 4A system, wireless Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, digital owner's manual, all the expectations that customers would have with an updated interface. Two, as we look at the digital clusters, we have two digital clusters on this truck. The base offering gets the eight inch digital cluster and then the Lariat and Raptor trims get the 12 inch digital cluster. A lot of customizability there, a lot of interaction and interface. There's, when you're driving the truck, you'll note that um, there's a, a welcome and farewell. There's, as you go through drive modes, there's a variety of graphics um, that come up. So a lot of customizability and a lot of interaction with you as a driver. As we come over to the center screens, we have a 10 inch center screen standard. On Lariat, we have a 12 inch center screen and, and Raptor gets a 12 inch center screen. The 12 inch center screen is also optional on XLT. With the screen specifically, you'll note the 360 camera. So now you have all the views. You've got front, rear, side, and you've got the bird's eye view. In addition, you will note that we've got a class exclusive zone lighting. And that is that feature is actually available through the touch screen. So you can light up the entire perimeter of the truck and you can do that via the screen or the Ford Pass app. Asked, Today, if you're in an FX4 truck, you'll see that we have an off-road screen and there's actually a shortcut button that'll be on the center console. This is available on Raptor as well. So there is a shortcut button that'll bring up all of the sort of expected metrics and attributes for a four-wheel drive. Steering, gear ratio, pitch and roll, trail control, all the other features all at the touch of a button. So a lot of time spent talking to customers about what do you need and what do you need to see quickly and the shortcut button offered it. In terms of connectivity for the 2024 truck, we've got the 4G LTE modem and we also have that modem now enables over the air updates. So a first for 2024 as well is the over the air updates. Last in the console, I didn't mention that we've got a wireless charger in there, so no cords, no clutter. Final thing that I wanted to note was just the driver assist technology. So obviously Ford has had a lot of, and Rangers had a lot of driver assist technology, and we've added additional incremental technology for the new truck. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go and speed sign recognition, lane centering, and then perhaps most exciting and important, which everyone's gonna get to experience soon, is all the new trailer content. So we have trailer brake controller, we have pro trailer backup assist, backing up a trailer is as easy as turning a dial. We have trailer reverse guidance on this truck as well. We have bliss with trailer tow coverage at uh, trailer, trailer light check too. So trailer light check is a neat new feature as well. That's actually, you can check if your trailer lights are working from the inside of the truck, or you can do that from the Ford Pass app as well. So with that, I think I am the last person that's keeping you from going out and driving the trucks. So we'll let you get the rest of your content and get you out on the road. Thank you.